Raymond! I don't know what else is Raymond! I'm glad you like it. You're my friend. When you leave, I can't come there. That's why I got this apartment for you. And I'm glad you like it. I love it. I love it. Oh, Raymond, how do I thank you? No, I mean, how do I pay you no, back? No, There's no need for me to thank you. I love you. That is why I'm doing this for you. Thank you so much. Is it a fridge? No, it's an inverter. <laughs> Hello. Oh, yes, um, sorry. I'll be with you shortly, okay? So you mean we were able to save up so much to come up with a place like this to better our lives? Hey! My day is made. <laughs> hey! Hi! If and I uh... see, see, they say the best thing that can happen to any man is to have a good wife. <laughs> If you are a good wife, you are a good wife. <laughs> hey, hey. I'm so happy that you like it though. Hey. I've been afraid that you will not like it. Hey! What? <laughs> I won't like what? <laughs> Look at this. Ah, if you are a man, don't know. Hey! I am a good wife. Oh. Oh, hey. 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 Let me go and get my things. Hey. 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 Oh, oh, oh. What would you like to eat? Hey. Hey. We see we now have gas. Hey. You will be ready quickly. Hey! Yes. Hey, Naya. Oh, my love. I need to give me a bit. Anything, anything. Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming. All right. Ah! Remember? Yes. I don't know how to open it. 
me. Right, just we must be right there. Married is a union between a male and a female that have accepted to come together to become husband and wife. But there will be a procedure. It is beyond mere acceptance. Of course, it has its procedures. Let me tell you, my son, from time immemorial, marriage has always been a beautiful thing. It comes with blessings and joy. My father, you're right. Mm. I see marriage as something one should do for himself without the external interference. Juliet is my friend and not my wife. My wife should be a person another woman will never be better than in my sight. Dr. Mason, have you found another woman that is better than Juliet in your sight? I'm just saying, I have not found anyone yet. But when I do, Father, I will bring my wife to you. My brother, you have a very good wife. Yes. I mean, a woman who understands is that driving from Bank Road to Hospital Road, searching for passenger is not easy. You know, and, and then that explains why she refused to give you some money to repair your car. But to put you in a new house where you can come home and rest your head. My brother, see him. God has blessed me with such a wonderful wife. Yes. And I'm very happy about it. Yes. That. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you see, my very good friend. You see, don't get me wrong. What I'm about to say now. Don't get me wrong. Don't you think someone somewhere is responsible for all these things? I mean, a man. No, 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 don't, don't give me that look. I mean, this is too much for a school teacher to provide. I'm just thinking. Ambrose, how dare you accuse my wife? A woman that works hard for my sake of sleeping with another man. Look, if not for the fact that you're my friend and a police officer, I would have slapped you. How dare you? Eh? Ofunwa. Ofunwa, you are obviously getting me wrong. Don't blame you. That's not what I meant. Ofunwa, come back. Since. You just look into it. Ofunwa. Man, this guy. I would like to ask you an innocent question. If you were asked to marry someone, who would you prefer? I'll remain single. I've rejected a footballer, a businessman, and many more. I love Raymond so much that I don't see myself being with another man. Juliet, I can see you love my son so much. It's all right. I had just left the palace not long ago. You may go. You have to wait for my son for a little while. I'm sure he's going to come back soon.
please bear with me. I'm somebody's wife. I I can't do it. So does that mean that there's nothing I can do to have you over myself? Damn. You're everything I want in a woman. No woman will be better than you in my sight. No problems in your marriage. Let me just settle your husband and then, you know, we can... <laughs> you want to settle my husband? And then what? It's just gonna be you and me. It means that if you do that, Someone else is also going to settle you to have me. I can't deny the fact that I I also want to be with you. I have given myself to another and I cannot do it. Just leave me to my faith. Loving you is the most difficult thing to handle. It gets deeper and closer as the days go by. What do I do? Stop, stop, please. Just stop it. You will tell me the man that gave you the money to furnish this place today. If not, you will tell me today. You have started drinking. You have started drinking again, Ofunwa. Any little money that comes into this your pocket, you rush and go and buy alcohol. What kind of a man are you? If not, mm? what did you just say to me, If not? Eh? Did you just... Ofunwa, take. Take this 50,000. Go and pick the tax. Go back to work. Instead of staying at home and letting all these devilish thoughts into your head. Because you, 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 you can't keep doing this to us. Sorry, Funaya, please don't be annoyed. Eh? Ma, 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 ma. Get up. Hey. It, it's okay. Hey, it, it's okay. I know that it's not you that is talking. It's alcohol. Hey. Alcohol is talking. It's not good. Hey. Oh, Funwa, no. go and fix this taxi. I and stop taxi. drinking. No, never, never. Hey, Funaya, thank you so much. No problem. I'm sorry, eh? Because, eh? You know you're my lord. Ma, give me the bottle. Because, uh, give me the bottle. I don't want again. Take. Hey, Funaya. Hey. Hey. If I was not a mistake marrying you. Hey! <laughs> Why haven't you been picking your calls? I called you. Your wife-to-be called you, there was no response. I was in a meeting, ma'am. And besides, I did not know my phone was ringing. I tell her did not pick or tell me. My phone is still with him. Sorry, my queen. He wasn't happy with the meeting. But you should still pick our calls. Listen to what you're telling me. After almost giving me panic attack. Get out. Son, why are you not happy? It's nothing serious. It's just some money that I was supposed to clear, but I did not. I'm sure tomorrow it will. But mom, you didn't have to slap my guard because of a woman. Six hours, Ray. Where have you been? I am here now, and tired. You didn't even tell me you were coming. But since you are here now and monitoring my movements, can I just... <laughs> I am your fiancé, Ray, and you will not speak to me in that tone. What is wrong with you? What has come over you? Last year you were all over me, you couldn't lift a finger without me. And now, this? How do you expect me to deal with this new you. 
Do you want to marry me or you just want my heart? Both. But I'm sorry you can't have my heart because somebody else has it. But if you so badly want to be a wife to a king, I can give you a crown. How dare you speak to me like that? After all we've been through? We've been through nothing, Juliet. Ever since you were forced on me, I have made conscious effort to love you. But love can never be forced. I want to love you. I want to pray for you. I want to yearn for you. I want to want you. I want to, I want to fantasize about you, but all that is not happening. Yet I volunteer in the midst of this lack of love to marry you and I get a slap for it. It's over. I am done. Ray. I have come too far for me to turn back. Not even you would stop me from being your wife. So, um, so, but, uh, see, Ambrose, see, uh, if not for the fact that I value our friendship so much, eh, I would have just asked you to just stay away from my family. Ah, why? What did I do wrong? What did you do wrong? Yeah. See, eh, thank God that I'm a very smart man. If not, eh, I for just, I for just use my own hand to scatter my marriage. You, 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 Ambrose. You made me to, to, to go and start asking my wife stupid, stupid questions. That, uh, who gave you money to, uh, to furnish the house? Who gave you money, money that you're spending? Who gave you money to do this? Who gave you money to do that? Uh -uh. See, 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 uh, I just thank God that that day, uh, that day, I was drunk. I was, I was so drunk. So, she just believed that uh, I was acting under the influence of alcohol. That was my saving grace that day. Okuma, you got me wrong. You know what? I will never, eh? I will never advise you again. Yeah, don't advise me. Look at you. I only ask you to look into the matter and not to go and confront her. Wait, are you a kid? Am I a kid? Yeah, are you a kid? I'm not blaming you. Anyway, that one is by the way. See, eh? That day, eh? There and then, she just, just opened her bag and brought out some, some cool cash, some wada wada. She just gave me and said, uh, I should use it and go and repair my car. So, guy, as I'm talking to you now, my car is back on the road. Yeah, so, Ofunwa is back on the road. Anyway, I was, <laughs> I was, I was about asking you. Mm, mm. Well, as you can see, I'm still on, my, I'm still on duty. Mm -hmm. You know, would have asked us to go somewhere, sit down and relax. Eh? Have some. You are who? Go where to relax with this uniform. I beg, I beg, I beg. We are not going anywhere with this your uniform. Just go where you are going to, eh? In the evening, when you have taken this uniform off, we can relax somewhere. Me, I'm going home now to go and check my car and take it for a ride. Yes, so because you know it just came back from the mechanic workshop, so I need to test drive it. Ofunwa is back on the road. You go where they go. Let me go. We'll see in the evening. Grow up, grow up. Car, come on. You grow up. You are you up? You grow down. You know. When he asked me who the man responsible was, I was so scared. My heart just skipped. Because I knew that no one had seen us together. My friend, come to show me. Yes. Don't be. I don't know what to say, but you know this teaching job is not what you used to pay your bills. Yes. The medicals, the rent and all that, all those cooking and all. You know now. I just have to tell you, you just have to be very careful. That's all. I know. So, I was also thinking that the relationship had ended. Why? He made advances at me. But I didn't let him. I refused. So, tell me. Why didn't you allow him to touch you? Because I am not a free bird. I am somebody's property. They bring the relationship home. Make Raymond and your husband to be friends. Yes. So, see, the way you're going about this thing, I don't want it to cause problem. Hey, my friend, I don't want it to cause problem. Bring it home so that there will be no problem. Think about you know, it. Actually, I was thinking that 
he was never going to see me again. But this morning he called. Talking about problem, what kind of problem are you talking about? <laughs> if your husband finds out, you know you cannot defend it. And Raymond's kindness might make you fall in love with him. <laughs> and when that starts, my friend, it's problem. Yes, big one. So you just have to think about it. Watch it well. Hmm. Think about it. Yes, my queen. What is wrong with her? I met her like this, ma. You may go. I'll call you when I need you. Okay, my queen. What is it? Raymond has been bewitched by someone. He said he won't marry me again, that he has found someone else to marry. Ebuka! Ebuka! Your Highness, go and call me Raymond now. Yes, Your Highness. Listen, my daughter, when a man is truly and sincerely in love, he can do absolutely anything to put you to test. Oh, yes. And I am very sure that my son is enjoying your state of mind at this moment. But of course, that qualifies him a man and a prince. Forget about it. Have you seen any girl around him? No. That clearly states that you do not have a contender. Wipe your tears, my daughter. Igwe, the prince is not around the palace. Go and look for him. Yes. Tell him to see me immediately he returns. Yes. It's okay, my daughter. It's okay. We'll be fine. My prince, Raymond. Raymond, Raymond. What is it? You, you scared me. What happened? I told you that I don't want to marry her again. I am not interested anymore. Ifu, I am not connecting with her. So, now that you're not connecting with her, who do you want to marry? Will you marry me? <laughs> Raymond, you, you know that cannot happen. I mean, I'm, I might tell you yes now, but at the end of the day, you know it's not going to work. I understand, but are you trying to say that your husband does not have a price? My husband is not even going to accept your throne in exchange for me. You know, every beautiful relationship should end in marriage. Are you walking out on me? Go back to Juliet. You and I know that this will not work. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now. So because you now pay the house rent, means you can now come back anytime you want there? Eh? Or are you now doing evening classes? Honey, how can you say that? Hmm? Actually, what happened is I went to see a friend of mine and the traffic was very bad. You know I don't come home late all the time. Sorry. How are you? Okay. Hmm. I see that somebody is counting a lot of money. It's my name. It's not your name. But you have, ah! Can you drink too much? This is my yes. name. No, no, it's not. Are you eating? I'm eating. You're not eating? No. I'm not going to that's so beautiful. I know, right? Honey. Mm -hmm. I really didn't like the word you used on me today. How can you say that because I've started paying rent that I now decide to come late? I don't know, that's just not right. Ooh, if you know, baby. See, that thing I said, I did not mean to. I, I'm telling you, it's not even past yourself. I just said it, you know. I was missing you now, and I wanted to eat food and everything now. And I was missing my food now. Like, eh? I just said you missed me. <laughs> that's a phone. I just wanted to check on you to see if you've gotten home. Good night. Prince that is calling you. Um, that is um, uh, this, this, the son of the king of this land. Um, he's my friend. I think maybe he wants to ask me something. I don't know. Uh, let me get you water. Are you waiting? Ah, uh, no. I'm trying to watch my wedding. Mm. Mm. Am I complaining? <laughs> 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 Uh, I think it's network. I'm trying to pick, but the thing is cutting off. The prince has declared he's not interested in marrying Juliet. Yeah, I heard that. And what was his reason for saying he's not marrying Juliet again? I don't know, but maybe he has found someone else. Did you see Prince Raymond? I don't know where he is. No, we haven't. The Queen Mother is looking for him. We haven't seen him. Where has he gone to?
I hope you're enjoying the steady lights in the estate. Hey, yes, I am. You know, eh, these days I now do my lesson notes with electricity. They even have gas. So anything <laughs> I cook gets ready. Shop, shop. I'm glad you like it. You know, I don't feel like leaving you. I'm thinking of getting an apartment here. <laughs> I don't think that is going to be a good idea. You're a crown prince. You should not be seen living here. Besides, I think you should go now because my husband will soon be back. Okay? And he didn't like the way I came back late last night. I see. Alright, so I'll see you. Not even a hug? Who is this? Who is this man? Huh? This, 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 this is my husband. Uh, no, Ofuma, this is the prince I told you about. He, he just came to drop. Bia, yeah. prince, this woman you are hugging is my wife. She's a married woman. Da! Let me talk. See, I have neighbors. Okwema, this is my house. These are my neighbors. What do you want them to think? Eh? That my wife is irresponsible, Okwema. Eh? Yeah, I know you're not married. You know that nothing about marriage. Because, leave, leave alone. Leave me alone! What's wrong with you? Eh? You are hugging, you are hugging him! You are hugging him! Eh? Yes! Go! Go! Go and marry! Go and marry! You know nothing about marriage! You know nothing about marriage! Don't come here again! You are hugging a married woman! You are hugging her! Da! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on. Go inside there! What is it? Stop shouting! What? Stop shouting! Stop shouting what? Why are you hugging him? Are you a man? Why are you hugging I him? I was not hugging him! Da! Why you stood like this? I stood like this and you came to the shower. You are a married woman. You are my wife. You are hugging a prince. You are hugging him. What is that? You are my wife. What is it? In my house. Hey! Even here, my own house. Yeah. Look at this one. Come on, go and marry. No sense. I'm not here. You are hugging my wife in my house. You are hugging her. You are hugging her. Even here. Even here. Even here. Even here. So you are sleeping with another man, eh? Hey! Hey! I should have listened to the voice of reasoning. Ambrose was right after all! Ambrose was right about what? Ambrose was right about what of one? That I have been sleeping with another man? Is that the rubbish that useless friend of yours has been feeding you? Eh? How could you? How could you treat a man that you've never met like a common thief? How could you? What is wrong with you? If you know. So, I was supposed to be fraternizing with a man that is hugging my wife as if she's a single girl, eh? How was he hugging me? How was he hugging me? Ofuma, how was I hugging him? How did I hug him that was out of the normal? How did I hug him that was out of the usual? Help. Respect yourself! Help. You have a problem, you deal with it! Hey! Deal with it! Where did I go wrong? So, is it because this guy is a prince that you have said to disgrace me? I did not disgrace you, Okunwa. You are the one that disgraced yourself. Omoa! Yes, Omoa! it was you! Omoa! It's your useless friend that comes to my house and eats my food. Hey! He's been going around spoiling my name, eh? Hey! Let me see his feet in this house again. Hey! Let me see him in this house. Oh. Hell. Hell. Oh. There is no cure for bet or debt. I don't know what troubles you, my son, that has made you to refuse call and not from the king. Nevertheless, I am still king to both the angry and the happy persons. You are welcome once again. Thank you, my king. My king, it is not like I'm rejecting the cola nut that you have given me. It is just that I do not eat cola nuts. Then at least accept it. Thank you, my king. Mm -hmm. That is good. The only person I can't deal with is he who talks when I want him to listen. You may speak for the king listens. Thank you, my king. My name is Ofunwa. I am from Okigwe. I'm a taxi driver in this town. My king, your son, Prince Raymond mm. wants to take my wife, Ofunwa, away from me. 
I don't know, maybe it's because he's a prince and he has so much money then he believes he can have any woman that he wants. Just yesterday, I saw them hugging. People have been telling me about their friendship and all that, but I didn't want to listen. I didn't want to believe anything they said. But my king, what I saw yesterday, it gave me sleepless nights. I apologize for whatever this may have caused you. But as for my son, I will talk to him when I see him. I cannot conclude without hearing his own side of the story. As for your wife, I ensure, I will ensure that my son will not see your wife for that long. Thank you very much, my king. Mm -hmm. You are a great man and you will live long. Mm. Thank you very much. I will take my leave now. Igwe. Mm -hmm. My prince, the king wants to see you. And what about the man with him? Has he gone? Yes, he has gone. Tell him I'll be with him shortly. Yes, my prince. Henry, I'll be right back. Time. He who sleeps with an itchy anus wakes with a smelly finger. Are you rejecting Juliet because of a married woman? Do you know what you are doing? I go after my heart, Father. I love her so much. You need to see her to know what she's made of. I am still a father that grants wishes, but certainly not this one. Not for a married woman! Raymond, let me tell you. That woman will not stop Juliet from getting married to you. Okay. What if she divorces her husband? That will clear whatever she has given to you. No charm will affect my son because I have Achilles. None of my loins will be an object of science. You shouldn't have gone to the palace. You shouldn't. That has taken the whole thing too far. Listen, I don't want to create room for anything like that at all. You should just leave my wife alone now. Uh -uh. What if they are just friends? Eh? What if they are just mere friends? I still think you went too far. I didn't ask you to go strike or accuse. I only said, look into it. Uh -huh. And after looking into it, Unko, I should not be calm. I should not do anything, Abi. See, Ambrose, I'm beginning to suspect you now. Is that there's something you know that you don't want to tell me about? Yes. <sighs> you know, the problem with you is you don't think before you act. You don't sit down, think before you act. This boy is a prince. You might need him someday. All you need to do is control your wife at home. Yes, Ofunwa, you still went too far. Ofunwa, you will kill me today. You will kill me today. You, you are a useless man. You will kill me. You will kill me. Ofunwa, you will kill me. 
You will tell me whether I have ever cheated on you. In fact, we will go and swear. We will go and swear. And if they find out that I have never cheated on you, Ofuma, I will leave your house. I am tired of this marriage. I will leave your house. Flyer. What is it, Flyer? What is your problem? I will leave your house. You are talking too much. What is your problem? You are talking too much. You came here. You are not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. Hey, You're not going anywhere. Tell her to leave me alone. I will beat her. Beat yourself. I will beat her. Go and beat your sister. Mm -hmm. You're not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. You're not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. You're not going anywhere. Let him go. Go and let him go. Ah. What is wrong with you? What's wrong with me? What is wrong with you? My friend, come and sit down. Sit down here. If not, you see it. Are you not seeing the whole drama? I told you, but you did not see it as a serious topic. Every single thing I have done, I have done for the betterment of this family. Uh -huh. Why would Ofuma go as far as going to the palace to report? Report what? I mean, now he has succeeded in spoiling my relationship with the prince. Hey, if Naya. You pay more attention to the prince and the benefits that comes with him. Eh? Forgetting that those things, those gifts, money, all those things that you, all the things that you have, they speak volume to that relationship. If Naya, tell me, a man that rented this house, this big apartment, Gives you money anytime you want. Changes your wardrobe at any time. Calls you anytime he wants. As, let me ask you. Do you expect your husband not to suspect you? Tell me. Which man in his right senses will not suspect his wife? If not, my friend. This act alone is called cheating. I am not cheating. You are cheating. I am not <laughs> cheating. It is cheating. And of who is a man? Yes. He is a man. He has the right to fight for his marriage. He has the right. Eh? I told you. I warned you. Look at it. The whole drama. Eh? My friend. Gifts. This is a serious report. Yes. Look, I think you should go to the police station and make a formal report right now. I know, right? That's what you should do. Yeah. Yes. Man, let's go now. Let's go and make it now. Let's go. Ah, ah. Prince, 
please. Please, I beg you. No, no, no. Just, just find a place in your heart to forgive me. Please, forgive me. Forgive my husband. My joy is that I never insulted your husband or talked to him in a manner to warrant what he did. Reporting me to my father, the king, is not a joke. He meant it. I know. I know. But then, my husband is not the one who is your friend. It is me. I'm so sorry. <sighs> Come here. Thank you. My daughter, when my son brought you as his heart struck, I was very pleased. I was very happy because I felt finally he now have plans for his future. But this recent incident has made me to see his plans from a different perspective. My dear, I want you to fight for your man. Leaving you for a married woman is not ordinary. I will do my part as a mother, but I want you to use both hands and hold on to what belongs to you. When I heard it, I felt Raymond is under a spell. That woman has bewitched him. Not my son, Raymond. It won't work. I, King Elo, remain the custodian of culture and tradition. I will remove every negative spirit out from his body. I see no reason you should be bothered. So relax. I don't like what you're doing. Your action is beginning to disturb me. How can you blame me for all this? You're supposed to be my friend. You know everything. You know every of my move. Yes, if Naya. Yes. Selfish interest is part of human behavior. With that, I can accept some certain things. Like the house you are staying in now was achieved by that interest. If Naya, logically, from your husband's point of view, you are cheating. Let me ask you, how, how will you feel if you are to be in his shoes? Tell me. Man is not a logic creature, but an emotional one. Mm. Yes, emotional one. Also consider the emotions of a husband, not only your selfish interest, if Nanya. Yes, I know you've not done anything with Raymond. Cheating is not only when you sleep with another man. If Nanya, tell me, if it was to be Ofunwa that the princess calls all the time, showers him with gifts, yes, they go to the hotel together. Tell me, how will you feel? If Nanya, how will you feel? Stop sounding like this, please. Oh, My brothers and sisters, you all know that I've never been like this with you people before. But I have a problem I believe some of you might be able to solve for me. A married old woman has bewitched my Raymond. And he does not know what he's doing again. Raymond is bent on getting married to an already married woman. Now, for those of you that move around with him, who is Ifunaya? Have any of you seen her? I've not seen her. If I see her, I will let you know. You all can now leave. Hey, Juliet. Hi. How are you? I'm good, how are you? It's been a long time. Yeah, it's been a long time. <laughs> so how's everything? I'll be good. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Alright, so uh, how is Raymond? Is he home? I think he's inside. Okay, yeah. okay.
I saw Juliet with the uh, workers in the palace. What's going on? Is everything well? My brother Ofuma has killed me. My father has decreed that there is no way that if Nanya is going to be his daughter-in-law. He also said I should go and look for another woman since I'm not getting married to Juliet. Can you imagine? So what are you going to do now? I don't know. What, what can I do? My father has spoken. And that's not nice, man. Let's just go inside, huh? But there is nothing. What do you want me to say now? Look at the village now. Look at the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> See this smoothing generating into something else. It doesn't go into that. And you know, Ofunwa is now going about telling everyone that if anything happens to him, Ifunaya is responsible. No, no, no. no. <sighs> I don't get it. I have to meet with Ifunaya. Yes. This is a very serious matter. I have to meet with Ifunaya. Seriously. I have to. Yeah. <laughs> Forget that thing. Forget it. That is a very big lie. Raymond that I know can never do something like that. What is Ofunwa even saying? What is he saying? Is it that he's now so rich or that he's now very influential that Raymond will send assassins over to him? Come on, please. It can't happen. My good friend. My good friend. Look into this matter. See this case? It is a very serious case. Rose, there is nothing to look into. Eh. There is nothing to look into. Okay. Oh. Am I not the one that said I didn't want to marry the prince? Am I not the one that turned down the prince? Am I not the one the prince wants? Come, you know, Ofunwa has started mingling with motor park touts. He works in a motor park. I will not be surprised that he has started acting like them. So you forget him and let's go. Why it's okay. My girl, come. Let's go. Son, why didn't you eat your food? Dad slapped me because of a commoner. He slapped you. Why didn't you tell me? Honey? Yes. Why did you get physical with your son? Oh, yes. Prayer is not the only way to defeat the devil. We sometimes have to apply common sense. And I had to slap him so that he would get back to his senses. Is it not unbelievable that our son abandoned a single lady to go for a married woman? Is that not stupidity? But I did not tell anyone that I'm getting married to Ifunanya. I know what she has done for me. We sometimes allow our emotions to affect our sensibility. And it is another man's responsibility to correct the person that has been affected. And then that was all I did. Did I do more than that? Son! Raymond! You better talk to your son. Talk to your son! Listen, can we talk tomorrow? I am not in the right frame of mind right now. Nessa, why did you walk out on us? What makes you think that you can marry Funaya? Because she loves me. And as far as there's a way, there's a will. I will give him money or I'll make him rich. The man only really came to complain. My son, beware of a man who does not return your blow. He will not forgive you, and he will not allow you to forgive yourself. All this fight is not worth it. Forget about it, Funaya, my son. 
Let it for Naya go. Forbidden fruits taste sweeter. You know, Adam did not go for the apple, for the apple's sake, but because he was forbidden. You sound so romantic. I have never heard you sound like that. Ah, I know. But my people and your people have decided to keep us apart. And they don't know that they've only succeeded in drawing me closer to you. Raymond, all I want right now is to be with you, is to be around you. I don't mind. I can do anything. I'll give freedom just to be with you. Raymond. I... Hey! If you let Apple! Eh? Apple! Only it was the apple, Kita! Eh? So you are still calling this guy? If you let him. If you let Okay, think I'm joking. can you talk to me? What's going on? Hello? Hello? Ifunaya? Hello? Domestic accident. But if we are 
The neighbor said they heard another man's voice last night. That's not possible. I was, I was home alone with my husband last night. Rose, may I see you please? Officer, continue the question. From what I see here, often one was hit with a hard object behind his head. And that would have killed him. I'm, I'm so confused. I mean, when I got the news this morning, I get into this place, I, I don't just get the whole drama. You know, as an officer of the police force, I can tell you my friend often one was killed. Hmm. You know what? There's more to this, and I'll dig it out. I'll sure get this out. Son, how are you? Mm -hmm. I killed someone last night. Who? With your gun? I went to Fuma's house and he was beating Evelyn and her because of me. So when I tried to separate them, I pushed him, he hit his head on the wall and he died. But I tried to call the police and if not, would not let me? She said she would take responsibility for it. That woman has killed her husband through you. When the man wanted the friendship between you and his wife to cut off, you refused. Where has it led us to? <sighs> you know I cannot hide anything from you. It was a mistake. Your Highness, one police officer and Chief NNF, they are here to see you. Let's go. And then I will see them later. Your Highness, for you this long. We are here for the betterment of this kingdom. You are welcome to my palace. Um, a young man called Ufuma was here a few weeks back to complain that the prince is having an affair with his wife. Uh, Your Highness, the man died yesterday. Where my young leader. This is not a good news. Yes, Your Highness, it's not a good news. May he so rest in peace. What happened to him? Your Highness, he was having a problem with his wife. She pushed him, he fell down and died. But this said man had already gone to the police station to make a report that the prince sent one Henry, his childhood friend, to him. Your Highness, that's why I'm here, to um, take permission to ask the prince some questions concerning this young man. All right, that's okay. We can go ahead with your job. Thank you, Your Highness. So this is how life is. Man is nothing. What is in this life? You live one day and the next you're gone. I pushed him and he fell. 
and he refused to get up. And I thought that he was joking. Was there anyone else in this house? Tell me the truth. Why would you even ask me that? Who do you think was in the house with me? No, I need to understand this question you're asking me. Why would you even ask me that? You are supposed to be my friend. Yes, ma'am. The way you're going about this whole thing, the way you're acting, I mean, you're acting as if there's more to this than what you're telling me. Tell me the truth. I'm your friend. What are you talking about? Since you went out with that policeman, you've been behaving strange. You know what? I'm not talking again. I'm not talking again because you are supposed to be my friend. I don't know what you mean by I'm, I'm acting strange. Mm. I'm going insane. I feel like I'm going to have a heart attack. Have you lost your husband before? Have I lost my husband before? How will I know how to act? I'm having panic attack. I stood there and I watched my husband die. I watched him die. I thought he was joking. Okay. I started to say that somebody else was in my house. Okay. Do I live with me? Okay. <laughs> How is that even possible in this modern time? A wife killing her husband. So what's going to happen to her now? My queen, the law would take control. It is an accident. But she even admitted that she is responsible. That alone shows that she's a good person. It could happen to anyone. That's true. In that case, you follow the case and keep me updated as it progresses. Let me know when the royal family can be of help. So what about the police? Have they told the king about it? No, my queen. The man reported yesterday at the police station that your son sent one of his friends named Henry to the man and that's why the police are looking for him for questioning. Who is this man? Does Raymond know him? The man that reported that your son is having an affair with his wife. Oh my goodness. What kind of trouble is this? See the coincidence. The innocent coincidence. My son cannot and will not have anything to do with his death. No, it's not possible. Prince, where were you between the hour of 10.30 and 11.30 last night? And what was your last call? I was in my room at this time, as you mentioned. And about my calls, I'm a prince. I receive a lot of calls. Good. Did you at any point leave this compound last night? No. Did you send anybody or group of persons to go speak with Funwa on your behalf concerning your relationship with his wife? No, I did not. So, how do you see the death of your friend's husband? I was at home when she called to deliver the ugly news. It was really shocking. And I'm so sorry about the loss. Do you know anyone by name Henry? Yes. Is there a problem? Not at all. Can I have his contacts? Can I see him? Sure. You are telling me that the woman was so weak. You pushed him. And he fell and died. Now tell me, how many of you killed my brother? Huh? See, let me tell you. Oath is involved in this case. I mean, we're talking about a human being here, not a foul. Tell us. Tell us the truth. 
it's not all this thing you are telling us about. He was beating me, and I pushed him, and he fell on the wall and he died. That's a story for the gods. My elders, I know you are angry. But if Naya here is in pain at the same time, asking her too many questions will break her the more. Please. Ufumwa's death is still very fresh. I know we can still discuss this some other time. Eh? Please. Let's go! I don't know. What about that? It's okay. It's okay. Oh, bro, I am finished. You are not. I am finished. I meant no harm. All I wanted to know was why he reported the prince and his wife to the king. I, uh, I also wanted to let him know that he hasn't got it to that level. But when I found out that uh, he didn't know anything about it, I just, I let him go. No one sent me, and that's the truth. Henry, do you know the wife in person? I mean, you went after her? I don't know her from anywhere. And besides, I haven't met her before. But uh, Prince Raymond told me everything about both of them and you are sure raymond told you everything about them <laughs> well we happen to be childhood friends we've known for quite a while you know he confides in me and that's the truth are you aware the man you went after is dead dead yes dead I didn't know that. How come? What happened? That would be a story for another day. Thank you, Mr. Henry, for your time. And please comply whenever the police need your assistance. I, I will. He's not picking. You've been like this all day. You've not even had anything to eat today. The prince is at the palace enjoying himself and here you are killing yourself. I don't want the case of Ofunwa to bring the name of this household to mud. But that it is better for a woman to be looked over than to be overlooked especially in her trying times. Raymond, what has come over you? You stop this rubbish this minute. I need to talk to him. I don't know why he's not taking me. You're really coming. The same young woman is ringing you. The same young woman is ringing you. From henceforth, I forbid you from leaving this palace. Oh yes, till further notice. And ensure that he makes no calls till further notice. He will not make calls, neither will he receive calls. Your Highness, Henry is outside to see you. Tell him I'll be with you. That will not work. Tell him it is late and he should go home. Yes, Your Highness. But mom, the, the death of that young man is still fresh, and I expect you to avoid visitors for now.
we have searched in our own way and we know who killed our brother. It is not you, but you are the cause. That was the truth. Who killed Ofunwa? I did it. It was me. We, we, he was beating me. I said it before and then I pushed him mistakenly and then he fell and he died. Nobody killed him. If Naya, you are under arrest for the death of Mr. Ofunwa. Uh, if Naya, please, I will advise you to remain silent. Please. Because for whatever you say now, it will be used against you in the court of law. Please. Move. Officer, where are you taking her to? Um, we are taking her to the ID division. Yeah, thank you. I need solitude. I'm in a reflection period. Please, I won't take much of your time. I want to see your friend before I am. I would like to sympathize with her. Why don't you ask those who station to watch her when she comes to the palace and when she goes out to take you to her? Please. I beg of you. I would like to see you I am. Please take me to her. It is not necessary. Why do you want to mock a woman who just lost her husband? Well, everybody will die someday. Please go to the palace. Ask anyone of Raymond. Make sure you find him and tell him of my predicament. Please, it's okay. Just be strong. I'll go straight away. Hmm? Okay. Who are you and who do you want to see? I am a teacher in the school. I came to see the royal household concerning our new school. I think I would prefer to see the Queen, because I wouldn't want to bother the King with such a small matter. All right, let me inform the Queen. Okay, thank you. I heard that the girl that killed her husband has been detained at the police station. Poor child. My only concern is that um, she's a friend of Raymond's, and she probably did what she did so that she can marry him. Oh, maybe it was just an accident. Your Highness, the school teacher is here to see you. Is it a man or a woman? A woman. I will be with her shortly. Did I send you to go after the man? Hey, Henry, did I send you? Now it looks like I'm the one that sent you to go after him. You even told him that I'm your childhood friend without letting me know. Man, I really didn't know this guy was going to die. I didn't know. I didn't threaten him in any way. Man, I'm sorry, bro. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. Sorry. Good morning, sir. My prince. Ask me. Please. My name is Rose. If Naya sent me, yes, they wouldn't let me see you, so I had to find my way to you. Her condition is too bad. The pressure from her brothers in law and the police is so much on her. Where is she? The police came this morning and took her to B Division for her to be charged to court. Okay, um, I've heard you. You go first, but. 
tell her I said she should stay strong and that nothing is going to happen to her. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Security. Research said that he'll come see you, that she relax, not to happen. In a situation like this, we don't know what happened because Bofumwa is not here to say his own side of the story. We've done our search. I am yet to understand the purpose of your visit. Our brother, just before he died, went to the police station to report about one Henry who threatened him because he came to the palace to report of an ungodly relationship between his wife and your son, the prince. Just after that, we learned that his wife pushed him and he fell and died. We now ask, does that mean our brother is, that, is a giddy? That he will just be pushed and he will fall and die? I did not send anybody to threaten him. Henry is alive. You can ask him. Did you go to his house the night he died? Are you saying I killed him? Let me see you for defamation. Why don't you come out playing so that I can solve this problem? I am asking you. Answer my question. Did you go to his house the night he died? Because all accusing fingers are pointing at you. Oh, you want to take our brother's wife because you are of a royal blood. Answer my question, answer! Did you go to his house the night he died? Kiki! You don't yell in front of a kid like that. Eh? Okay, so what is the purpose of our visit now? What is the purpose of our visit? Eh? Ah, no. I don't know. I'm off. Do you know this woman? I haven't seen her before. Do you know this man? No. I have never seen him before. Who is he? Are you sure you don't know this woman? I haven't seen her before. Okay. Um, officer. My father was not happy that day. I'm the cause of all this. If I wasn't in love with Ifunanya, all this wouldn't have happened. Now, what is the fate of Ifunanya? As you clearly see, she did not accept for you because she was married. And now that her husband is dead, her brother-in-laws are looking for ways to punish her. Now, my question to you is this, Prince Raymond. Will you still go ahead and marry her when this case is over? If I do that, it will look like I killed her husband so I can have access to her. And secondly, my father will not allow that to happen. He is not happy with Ifunanya. Uh, he feels she killed her husband so that she can get married to me. How can you say you love without sacrifice? Look. That young lady is going through pains right now. And you have not even gone to check up on her. At least to encourage her. You see, 
This is not fair. It's not good. I, I don't think you love her. My father closed every means I would use to see her. That will be fine. Tell your father Osita and Okeke won't come here again. I will handle it. I'll see you around, Prince. We are sorry, we, we just some small delays. We would have been to your office by now. Please. Um, it's okay. As you can see, um, I was on my way out because I've waited for you guys all day. The reason why I called to see both of you is this. As it stands, you do not have any proof that the prince killed Ofuma. Going to the palace to, to, to make noise was totally unacceptable. I mean, the king has been doing everything possible to give your brother a befitting burial. And going, go, the behavior you, you, you exhibited there has spoiled the whole thing. Officer, I'm deeply sorry. I'm deeply sorry. It was because I lost my brother. I promise that won't happen again. Um, officer, what about our request of um, taking the wife to the village? Well, the DPU has approved that, but on the condition that we must go with you because she must come back with us that same day. Now, you go and warn your youths. Warn them to behave themselves because they believe she killed her husband. Please, warn them. Please, Thank you very much. just take note. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, officer. If Naya, if Naya where is Ofunwa, my son? Came back and one more came for Naya. Where is my son, if Naya? If Naya, where is my son? It's okay, Naya. it's okay. Ah. It's okay, Mama, it's okay. <laughs> According to tradition, <laughs> when a woman kills her husband and she denies it, she is meant to swear. But in the case of Ifunaya here, she has admitted it. And so there is no need for her to drink the water used to break the husband. There is no need at all. Oh, <laughs> I am calm. When I you know my son has no child, either from you or anywhere else, according to tradition, you will stay on his behalf and bear children for him. Well, no way! No way! <laughs> no way. Hey. 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 You killed my son! <laughs> so that your plan with your friend will be accomplished! No way! <laughs> no way! No way! No way! Listen, I don't think we are here for trouble. The DPO had warned us concerning this kind of nature. Okay? Please allow me to talk to Funaya myself. No. Please. I can't do it. Funaya, please excuse me. I cannot do it. No, it's okay. It's okay. Let's go. Please. Funaya, please. Please. My only child, my only son. Um, Ifunaya. Raymond will not marry you. No, he's not as if he doesn't love you. He does. But there are factors that make it impossible. What and I need you to understand. Amos, what are you seeing? What factors? Look, if he does, it will look as if she planned it with him. Then nobody that will take over from the king will bear any kind of blood guiltiness. And he doesn't want to get involved. Amos, what are you seeing? Eh? And how do you even get to know about it? The king summoned me to the palace over the problem Osita no Keke caused right there. And, and, and see, don't forget, Ofun, Ofun had already reported this case at the police station. Oh. Hey, 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 hey.
Tears from the sky, raindrops from my eyes To live my life without you The sun will go dark, the stars will turn black If I should live my life without you It's burning my heart, it's spinning my head around I promise I will not marry her, but at least let me save her. Let me at least contract a lawyer for her. Really? So you now feel you are qualified enough to save someone else when you haven't saved yourself first? Son, please. It's not safe out there. You have to save her. All right. All right, calm down, son. I promise I will look into this matter and I will contract the best available lawyer to go and see her at this station. But on no account, on no account will you step out of my palace. I'm here to represent Mr. Fulani Oh, okay. Yeah. I'd like to see him briefly, if you don't mind. Um, that will be fun. Okay. So I'll get that for you. Okay, no problem. I'm waiting. Yeah, wait, wait, just wait at the conference. <laughs> Down there? Yeah. Wait. Okay. Thank you.
two gifts from you. Money. Material things. I came from a poor home. And I married a poor man. I was comfortable with you. Because you do not disturb me for sex. I loved you. That is why I took the supreme sacrifice of accepting to be the one who killed my husband because I knew you did it by mistake. A mistake it was and a lot of things that followed suit. I never should have given you the green light. I never should have led my husband to his death. I know that you're a good man and that you have a good heart. And that your absence all this while was for a good reason. But what's the point? If I'll go through all this process and still end up without you. What's the point? If I'll be forced to marry often one's family just to procreate. What's the point? When my entire family has turned their backs on me. What's the point when traditions and customs won't let me be with you? I loved you from the very moment I set eyes on you. Until this moment, I still do. No. No, if we're not, no, no! Goodbye. No, no, no! My prince. No! Raymond, shut up! Shut his mouth! What is it? I killed him. I killed him. I killed him. I killed him. I killed him! No! I killed him, man. Do you realize the repercussion of his action? Shut him up or not. He can never become king. The gods will never allow a man with blood on his hands to rule this kingdom. I gave him a wife and he feels it's not good enough. Ourselves to the God. <laughs> I pray that they show us mercy. No! Yeah. <laughs>